2023 Volvo XC40 Review, Refreshed XC40 Goes Mild Hybrid. There's no shortage of cutthroat competition in the subcompact luxury SUV class and although no longer new, the Volvo XC40's competitors have yet to topple it from its podium. The arrival of a mild hybrid system means all XC40s now feature some form of electrification. It's not quite as plush inside as the XC60, but the inside has flair and is crammed full of newly updated tech and features and lots of safety equipment, as is expected of the brand. With two engines, two drivetrains, many trim levels, and a starting MSRP of under $37,000, the XC40 is not only good value but has hardly any glaring faults. Built on Volvo's compact modular architecture shared with the C40 and Polestar 2, it is fully compatible with electrification, the XC40 has an EV counterpart in the XC40 Recharge. Hitting the ground running for the new model year and spoiling for a fight, the 2023 XC40 brings with it a few meaningful updates and a trim realignment. It certainly has the credentials and all-around ability to give the BMW X1, Audi Q3, and Mercedes-Benz GLA something to think about. 2023 Volvo XC40 Changes, What's the Difference Versus the 2022 XC40? In common with other models from the Swedish automaker, Volvo USA has given the 2023 Volvo XC40 a 48-volt mild hybrid system, in the process renaming the engines from T4 and T5 to B4 and B5. The base before engine gets a slight power hike from 187 to 194 horsepower and the B5 loses 1 horsepower, performance stays essentially the same, but fuel economy is improved. Along with the mechanical changes, a trim realignment with the same basic core, plus, and ultimate trims that other Volvos also now have is implemented. The plus and ultimate can be had in either a bright or dark exterior theme. To highlight the new exterior themes, the XC40 gets a slight facelift with a restyled front bumper, a tweaked grille with a new Volvo badge, and reshaped headlights with revised Thor's Hammer DRLs. There are new wheel designs and three new exterior colors, Fjord Blue, Silver Dawn, and Bright Dusk, while three others are discontinued, namely Denim Blue, Pebble Gray, and Glacier Silver. Inside, the biggest change in the cabin is the changeover to a new Google-based infotainment system with Google built-in and a host of available Google services, such as Google Maps, Google Assistant, and Google Play. Leather upholstery is no longer standard on any of the trims but remains optional on the Plus and Ultimate. A new textile upholstery called City Block becomes standard on the core trim and gray melange, while the Plus and Ultimate get upgraded Connect Suede Textile slash Microtech upholstery. Pros and Cons Modern and Stylish Styling Class Leading Safety Youthful and Modern Cabin Nifty Interior Storage Solutions Many Standard Features Infotainment Tricky to Master AWD Only Available with Top Engine A Few Subpar Interior Plastics Can Get Noisy 2023 Volvo XC40 Handling and Driving Impressions The base B4 engine with 194 horsepower and 221 lbft of torque offers decent lowdown pull, but don't expect energetic acceleration, it's best avoided if you demand an enthusiastic powertrain. The B5 does much better and with 247 horsepower gets the crossover up and running much quicker. The turbocharged 2.0 L4 pot is a bit coarse, though, and can become vocal when working hard. Luckily, the automatic transmission plays well with both engines and nearly always picks the correct gear promptly and with commendable smoothness, keeping the engine in the meat of its torque band. The XC40 is best in town, where the steering is light, if somewhat vague, and lacking in feedback. It is easy to drive, and its compact size makes it a breeze to park. The ride quality is absorbent and deals with divots and speed bumps well without wallowing or rolling excessively in corners. On the highway, noise levels increase, especially when the engine is asked to deliver its best. The electric variant is naturally a lot quieter and offers strong punch, but it's also more expensive. We review the Volvo XC40 Recharge separately. Verdict, is the 2023 Volvo XC40 a good SUV? Volvo has struck gold with the XC40, 
and such is its spread of talents that there are few rivals that can seriously challenge it for class honors in the premium subcompact SUV class. It excels as a city car, with competitive space for people and their things, and many smart storage solutions. It drives well, and the B5, in particular, offers strong performance. The ride and handling are expertly judged and the XC40 rarely puts a foot wrong. The few faults it is center around the four-cylinder engine that does its job coarsely and lacks power in the B4 configuration. Both of these problems are solved by the XC40 recharge at a price. Even if you go for the gas XC40, you'll enjoy the stylish cabin, up-to-date tech, with its exemplary safety credentials giving you peace of mind. In terms of an overall package, the XC40 offers an unbeatable combination of value, safety, comfort, and style in its class. 2023 XC40 Exterior Although it's been around for a few years now, the XC40 remains one of the more attractive crossovers in this segment. It's got a more youthful personality than larger Volvos, but it retains that sense of Swedish sophistication and restraint. The core models come with 18-inch alloy wheels, power folding door mirrors, bright aluminum roof rails, a black grille with vertical slats and a chrome surround, black lower side window trim, and LED headlights. Higher in the range, the XC40's cabin is flooded with natural light thanks to a laminated panoramic moonroof. The Plus and Ultimate trims can be had in a choice of bright or dark theme for the exterior. The former has a grille with chromed vertical slats and a chrome surround, as well as metallic finishes for the lower front and rear valances, the lower side window trim, and the roof rails, while the latter has a black mesh grille and gets blackout treatment for all the mentioned exterior trim items. The Ultimate has larger 19-inch alloy wheels and high-gloss black exterior trim. Volvo offers some 20-inch wheel options for the Plus and Ultimate for between $800 and $1,475 and we love how they look on the XC40. The XC40 Recharge gets 19-inch wheels, even on its core trim level, along with a smooth body color panel in place of a grille. On all XC40 Plus and Ultimate models, LED fog lights with a cornering function are standard. The Recharge Plus optionally gets access to flashy 5-spoke diamond-cut 20-inch wheels, these are standard on the Recharge Ultimate. Dimensions the XC40 slots into the subcompact luxury crossover segment with dimensions of 65 inches in height, 174.8 inches in length, and 80.1 inches in width including the mirrors and 75.2 inches without. The wheelbase is 106.4 inches long. The recharge shares identical dimensions but its electric components also make it far heavier. Whereas the Gasoli FWD XC40S vary from 3,627 to 3,726 pounds in front wheel drive B4 guys and maxes out at 3,837 to 3,861 pounds in the all-wheel drive B5 configurations, the AWD XC40 recharge weighs between 4,679 and 4,741 pounds. Although it doesn't have the ground clearance of a Land Rover, the XC40 was never intended to be a serious off-road vehicle recharge models get 6.7 to 6.9 inches while that of gas models vary from 8.1 to 8.3 inches. 2023 XC40 Interior Volvo has done well to give the cabin of this car a personality of its own. The long, vertical ventilation outlets, portrait-style touchscreen interface, and concave inlays on the dashboard and door panels all gel together well visually. Space utilization is excellent, and even passengers at the back won't feel cramped. As standard, the XC40 comes with a clear 12-inch digital gauge, dual-zone automatic climate control, cruise control, and power-folding door mirrors. As expected, there's also a generous list of safety features like blind spot monitoring, automatic braking, and lane keep assist. Upper models boast classy details like an Orifer's crystal gear selector knob that makes the cabin feel even more inviting. Seating and interior space The XC40 is strictly a five-seat vehicle, unlike the Mercedes GLB which offers a third row. We do feel the back seat would be more comfortable with two adults rather than trying to squeeze in three people. It's not the most spacious vehicle in the subcompact class, but it makes use of its diminutive size extremely well. These aren't our favorite front seats in Volvo's lineup, 
but they are far more comfortable than what BMW sticks in its entry-level vehicles. The front head and legroom are acceptable for taller occupants, while the rear space is surprisingly generous for a vehicle of this stature, with 36.1 inches of legroom and 39.1 inches of headroom. The XC40 perfectly treads the line between being too small for a budding family and encroaching into the XC60's compact territory. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.